Whether you agree or disagree with the Arizona immigration law or feel today's court ruling is a victory or defeat, you're sure talking about it. And here to talk about what you're talking about is our power panel, journalist Judy Licht and Lynn White and advertising executive Charlotte Ann Nelson. Welcome back. Charlotte Ann, first crack at it. Was this, was this ruling a good idea and will it stand? It was definitely a good idea. Immigration is a national problem. There's a national hole in our immigration policy and there needs to be a national solution. There's, it's the wrong way forward for an individual state to go rogue. Will it stand? Well, I think Arizona said that they're going to challenge it. They're going straight to appeal. I think it will go to the Supreme Court in October. And this is, a, this is one of the most conservative Supreme Courts that we've seen in generations. So I, I think I'd call it 50-50. I think it's going to the Ninth, Ninth Circuit first, isn't it? It is. Yes. It is. It's going to take a while for it to be resolved. But the big the question is, is this the way we want to go in America? I mean, we're not the Gestapo. You can't stop people and say, show me your papers. That's number one. It just it's it's not right for us to look that way to the rest of the world. Number two, what about the cop who goes up to the car filled with illegals who says, show me your papers, and they have nothing to lose, and you know his life is in danger. How is this really going to translate? How is it actually going to work? Judy? Well, first of all, Lynn, I think that we can't sit here in New York where there's a problem but not a big problem like in Arizona or Texas or California and judge other states. I mean, it's their right. You're not going to a hospital where there's no room in the emergency room because they're illegals. You're not in a state that's about to go broke because they can't afford to pay for illegals. So first of all, we can't judge them from here. Second of all, I think it's interesting that the judge, Judge Bolton, did not judge on it being a matter of civil rights. She judged, she said it would provide a burden to federal uh, federal officers to enforce. That's interesting. I thought that was an interesting well, distinction. Nice way to get around it, actually. Let me ask you a question about the law, your opinion on this. Because the, 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 her ruling was that officers can't be required to ask, right. does that mean they cannot ask if they choose? Well, it's interesting. I was very surprised by something the sheriff said today, which is this law notwithstanding, I know what my policy is, we're going to keep doing what we've been doing, which seemed a very cavalier thing to say, I think. So I think that they are going to be uh, right on the borderline of this policy and being as vigorous as they can. Why isn't there a national policy, though, towards illegal immigration? That's what we should be mm -hmm. focusing on. I mean, 61 percent of Americans agree with the Arizona law, and I'm not so sure if we were all living there, if we wouldn't be agreeing 100 percent. So you really have to take a look at what's happening there. It seems like the wild, wild west. Why are we not better patrolling our borders. Let me just tell you something. There is a national law. The federal law requires aliens 14 years or older who are in the country longer than 30 days to register with the U.S. government and have registration documents in their possession at all times. But it's not an effective law. How it's many people enforced. are buying No, but the, the point is it is on the book, so it is legal. And the, it, it, this but is not interesting. enforcing it? Well, but that's the question. And that's why you now have 18 states in this country, Lynn, 18, not just Arizona, who want to enforce, the, which want to enforce some form of immigration law. But that's I think similar. that's the you right have thing the to do. It's the way you do it, the way you go about it. Have, that's really important. But, well, this was one way of doing it. And you have you have uh, the majority of people polled in this country who want an immigration law that's uh, similar to I'm that of Arizona. with you, but I don't know that this is the route to take. I think that this is... It, it's going to lead to more complications, and no one's really thought it through. How do you enforce that? How does oh, yeah. the cop walk up to that car and <clears> say, left. are you legal or not? Let me ask you about the WikiLeaks, of all the documents, the secret documents regarding the war. For six years, the war of Afghanistan, these are, these are battlefield reports that would leak to the, to the press, leaked by a guy named Julian Assange. And it, it, he, he, he runs WikiLeaks, and it's his goal to get this stuff out. Did he do a service or a disservice to this country? It's interesting, isn't it? it to my mind, um, I think that he did a service. We're operating, it depends how much you trust government to be transparent. And in the wake of the weapons of mass destruction debacle, as I would see it, I think we don't trust government and we need whistleblowers. You also have freedom of the press. So yes, I think it was the right thing to do. But does it help us? No. And is it anything new? I don't think so. So it really didn't affect our policy. Yeah. This was not the Pentagon Papers. Right. It's all stuff we knew already. So I think, did was he right or wrong? It's, it's moot. I think the question is, I don't think it's going to have any effect one way or another. All right. That's the last word. Thank you for coming in. See you next week, next Wednesday.